think the trucker guy just seen me uh found a pizza and it's hard because it's cold but it's if it warms it up I'm sure it'll be good My jaw feels very sore. I don't know if I've been clenching my teeth right now. But I wanna make a video and tell you guys about something that happened right now. Nothing too crazy, please. I wanna inspire people who maybe are like deformed or handicapped. You know, like people who walk different, maybe talk different, look different. People who feel like the world always stares at them. Stuff like that. Those are people I care about more than me. Not ladies who yell at people from the doorstep. Or men who think they can say, stay away, get out of here. As if they have the power to do so. Like I said. Or, you know, even bullies and squares like the judge and claim ownership of the dependence. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel of um, hope in, in all, in turn, I'm motivating the right people and inspiring the right people. That I don't give a fuck about it can laugh together about it. I'd rather talk to you and get to know what you're thinking. You know what I'm saying? Peace. So, uh, I got a chocolate shake at nine in the morning. I mean, it's around 9.30, like 9.33. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where they could have said no because maybe they are a little too early for them and they're so busy doing other shit, but they were kind enough to accept it from me. They know me, all the ladies there. You know, trip out. I met. I met. If you guys watch a YouTube video called uh, "Soft White Underbelly," there's a guy named Johnny on there. He's a an ex gang member, or he's a a guy who grew up in the gang system. He has multiple videos with uh, Mark Mark Leda. He's, he's very well known. His YouTube channel has over 4 million subscribers and is growing quickly. He's gonna surpass a lot of other channels. Um, he has a guy named Johnny on there and Johnny Johnny says where he's from. So he's, he's like from around the, the region of where I'm from. And I've actually seen him a couple times in the parking lot at the McDonald's I park at. He looked recognizable. I'm like, oh shit, that's Johnny from uh, Soft White Underbelly soft white underbelly a lot of people know that channel so trip out i go to the restroom right now um somebody walks in behind me i look it's johnny you know like, oh shit johnny my from the channel i shook his hand i say thanks for sharing your story i don't want i don't want it to be seem awkward but i still was a little shook like i'd be getting mad paranoid about like i don't know about the government the fucking internet so I don't really trust big channels like that. Especially, Mark is a white guy. For some reason, he's allowed to go and, um, he's allowed to go and make videos. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm single and I love women. I just, I just broke my neck for a fine woman right now. I seen it in my rear view. I think I played it well with them because I had, I'm a little afraid of Johnny because he shared his story on the internet and he's a pretty serious dude, so. But he didn't look like he was high, so I was a little. But uh, I was gonna go use the toilet. I had to take a shit, you know. And it seemed like he, he's like, oh, you gonna go? I was like, oh, why, hey, you need it? I was like, go ahead, I was gonna let him go ahead out of respect, he's an older, he's an OG and this guy was a little like, want him to get comfortable, so he's like, no, nah, I'm not in a hurry, so I, I used it and there was a big old white dude, like a big old heavy set white man older white man and like he was taking a piss Johnny was waiting to use the restroom but the white man oh, the white man was washing his hands he turns so anyway he goes to use like the blower for his hands 
I feel a little more comfortable there's another man in there, not just Johnny, because, I don't know, Johnny's a pretty serious dude, but I was a little nervous, and then uh, Johnny says, peace out to me. But sure enough, that white man that was in there, as soon as he, I come out the restroom first, and I didn't even hold the door, like, help him. I walk out, and I guess he walked out right behind me, but I didn't even open the, like, hold the door open for him. But as soon as he comes out, he has, he's like, start giving orders. I think he's like the owner of this actual McDonald's. And it's weird because I wrote this McDonald's a letter, remember? On my Instagram, I had a letter that I wrote to this McDonald's. <laughs> I, was just, I was just faded and just, just like, I was, I was just barely becoming homeless. So I was just thinking of ways to survive. Just that's why I'm recycling cans because I'm looking for ways to survive and ways to stay out of people's way. <laughs> So that's my video of meeting Johnny in the restroom at McDonald's from Soft White Underbelly. But now that I got in my car, I was thinking like, like, damn, I want to ask him like, did you make, do you make any money off those videos? Because his videos are very popular. His videos are a pretty big reason why people follow, you know, because he's, he was one of the reoccurring guests. He hasn't been on there, but things are coincidental in my life. And I wouldn't doubt it if Johnny's going to be on that show recently. But he must be doing good. He doesn't look like he's uh, he's uh, on drugs. He looked pretty clean to me. So I was kind of, uh, anyway, out. Peace. Three o'clock and I'm heading to the gym to go play some basketball. Um, low key, I wanna show you something. I left my cart right here. Um, so I collected last night. If you guys see my Instagram, you seen the video where it says, I feel like a lemon. I Meaning it feels like I'm getting squeezed in, especially last night or I mean not this morning when I was in that specific neighborhood on that specific day where I kind of made a schedule on that specific route I don't know um, go watch the video called uh, I feel like a lemon it's kind of it talks about how I'm just trying to make a living and make some money but uh, so anyway I didn't go collect today I felt kind of down I was like fuck it you know maybe I won't fucking just like be a vacuum tonight and get all the recyclables on the route that I have scheduled for tonight and maybe I'll just go get a little bit so if I don't turn anything in today I still have what I have and then just get a little bit more to make some money tomorrow and um so another collector but I'm gonna go tonight after my therapy but this is what I have let's see if it survives and I come back from basketball I mean I'm gonna have my therapy and after that I'm gonna come I'm gonna swing by over here because I gotta get my car anyway Please don't take my cart, but you could take the fucking bottles and stuff. I don't care. Peace, y'all. We'll see. So anybody, anybody who needs those cans is gonna take them. So you know that's no biggie. You feel me? It's no biggie at all. I mean, I'm leaving them. Not if I really wanted to take them, I'll take them. You know, but I kind of feel a little bit embarrassed that my my shopping cart is gonna be sticking out so much when I pull up, and I also don't want to like cause attention over there to my truck as much. You know, I'd rather just leave this here and my truck be separated from them just taking these bottles. But, I mean, if I if the gamble wasn't as high, I think I'd put like five bucks on it that like maybe my no one's gonna touch my shit right there. There's not too many people swing by that recycle or anything, but it's a decent amount of uh, recycles. Um, but they got to look inside of it because it might be like those plastics that they don't really like to recycle. A lot of people don't know you can recycle the plastic number two if you look on the bottom of any plastic container it'll have um that triangular recyclable symbol and inside that triangular symbol will be a, a number so there's like number one which is your typical plastic number two which is like you know the uh the plastic of uh you know the the, the thicker plastic for like your soap your, your detergents you know and like your fabric softeners and other things oh and like that uh the number two is also the uh the milk container you know it's a very it's a different type of plastic you know it might be like it, um the milk is obviously a thinner version of the same uh, plastic that is for your soap containers so and a lot of people don't be collecting those you know i noticed so you know, it was a pretty good morning i feel like i was i'm learning more about the plastics and stuff like that but anyway, uh, so if it's not there, it's not there, but take care. I'm going to the gym right now. I got to go to the gas station. I might be running out of gas pretty soon, but hopefully I make it to the gas station and from there I go to the gym. I'm going to go straight to the basketball court. Actually, I have to use the restroom and then go straight to the basketball court. 
I went yesterday wanting to play basketball, but I felt a little discouraged about it. And uh, so I just like, oh, I'll just go on Tuesday, you know? Partially it's because that pretty girl's there, and I don't want to make it seem like, I don't I don't think I've gone on a Monday, really. I don't want to like, like the other ballers there to start like thinking like, man, he's interested in this, in this very beautiful college hooper. Which I think I just maybe keep her as a friend if we ever start talking over here at the gym. So I didn't want to like seem played out by the guys at the gym, you know? And like show up all the time to go ball just to kind of like see, like be around, be around a hooper like that, a beautiful hooping woman, you know? So I didn't want to, but I did go over there to shower and then I just left. I walked through the exit where the pool is at, which leads you right from the locker room. You just have to go um, go around the pool a little bit and then come out that door and you're right by the entrance and then you just leave the entrance door. <laughs> That's like a more easier way just to jam because other than that, you gotta go around the guys lifting weights and stuff. And sometimes if I go like, and, and they're like, oh, this fool just came to shower or something because he came real quick and then now uh, he just left. Um, Alex, I'll show you with him when I get there. He's like the, the manager, that he's pretty buff and he works in the front. Probably, I think I'm older than him. I think he's like probably 26, 27, or maybe 25, 24. But he's a super cool dude, super chill. He knows I'm kind of weird, but I told him like, he knows I just sometimes I just come to shower, but he, he don't be making me look weird and shit. He's kind of too nice. Sometimes he might be letting too much of a, too, uh, maybe too much of a risk of individuals to actually uh, go in. Sometimes I see some people that seem like they might be, I don't know, like actually live outside in tents and stuff. They be like in the showers and stuff, which kind of makes it uncomfortable. But um, I don't know. So look at dude, he's on a motorcycle. <laughs> you guys see him? Like little bro and big bro, maybe dad and little son. But it was a little ass uh, pocket bike. They probably gotta go somewhere or something. But anyway, y'all, so uh, I've got, I was talking about, I'm gonna go to the gym, ball up, get some good runs in. Only till around five o'clock, cause uh, I gotta go do the therapy at six at McDonald's. Maybe till like 6.20. Let's hurry up and leave right away. Go get some food from McDonald's and after my therapy, go um, just go collect, and I'll probably be done collecting tonight as opposed to tomorrow. I don't know. I feel like everybody's like against me, like because I'm the new guy that's collecting, and I don't know. I'm not trying to take nobody's routine, like an old person's routine of collecting. It's kind of fucked up, don't you think? That's what that video of I feel like a lemon is about. Pretty much just feeling like I don't know, but. I don't know, I don't know. Not enough, right? It's not enough. But I'm not gonna sweat it, you know? God is good, you know? What's meant for me is meant for me, you know? Peace. Where's Hilo? Hilo? No. She went home? Hmm? In casa? Como se llama? Hilo? You. Como se llama? ¿Cómo se llama tú? Mikey. Mikey? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you spell it? Mm -hmm. How do you escribe? How? How do you write it? <laughs> you know, you know, no, no, mucho inglés? No. <laughs> español, mucho español? Um, uh, poco español. Okay. But Mikey? Maggie. Mike, Ma Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> okay. okay. I like Mikey. The cuatro. Bye, Maggie. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so Maggie's my new friend. She's like, go. <laughs> Got a nice parking. Shout out to Osho. Man, you're getting mad love right now. Osho. That's right. <laughs> but uh, I found a cool little parking in the shade, as you can see. And, uh... <laughs> anyway, yo, so time to go ball up. I'll use the restroom real quick. See y'all later. I'm going to write down my name and number, so that way I'm going to give it to him. And I really got to talk to him too much. Peace. Hopefully the cat hopefully the catalytic converter will be there when I get back. Jim Hiddips. That out lazy. I don't know who that is. It was pretty dead today. 
There's five people, three, one, five. And um, so, well, there was six, so we paid three on three. And that's why I was pretty sweaty right now. But they said it was more packed yesterday. It's kind of busy today. because it was dead, so we're gonna see if my catalytic converter got taken away. Everything sounds normal. Peace, yo. What's up on my guy's eyeball, though, man? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Almost crashed, bro. This car's gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy, man. <laughs> Aaron Donald had one eye all white, like he had a fake eye or something. Shout out to my people who lost an eye. I just wanted to make a joke. I feel stupid now. <laughs>